one we're going to look at is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's a daily chart. Just looking at the big picture for first off, we've got a general uptrend line in place here, and then we've got several horizontal resistance lines above us, and we're testing the upper one right right now at 34,600. And but how are we approaching it? Here we've got the ROG lines, not versus cash as we were looking at a moment ago, but versus the S&P. Um, itself. So it's not performing that well as we saw versus the the S&P, the S&P further to the right and it's looking heavy compared to the S&P. But from an absolute basis, from a chart basis, actually very key point we're at now, this 34,600 level I think is significant. We're pushing towards it. Every low is higher. We have got the MACD has turned up again and the RSI is looking pretty good. So now looking a little bit closer, we can see that these points line up pretty well. One, two, three, four, and we're pushing towards it now. Every low is higher here. We've got some good momentum we see in the RSI here. And as I said, we've got a crossover in the slightly lagging MACD here. But the picture is looking good and threatening to make a break to the upside. I think a little bit push through 3,400 could take us to quite swiftly towards 35,400. Now moving to the S&P. The uh, trend here is clearly up, stronger than Dow Jones. Dow Jones has been stifled, but we do think it might be on the verge of, of playing a game of catch-up, so we'll look for potential there. But here we're moving along quite fluidly upwards. Uh, we've got the latest level of support, these two highs in here, and uh, before the gap breakout of 4,440. Uh, we're pushing forward here now, strong upside momentum we see in the MACD. We see a rising RSI, not excessive at this moment, heading towards the longer term resistance, which is at 4,640. This looks like it's onwards and upwards, and it, the next level of resistance where it may have a pause and pullback like this is still above us to the, uh, uh, the NASDAQ broke, the very important level of 15,000 15,230 and that I crashed through it, gapped up very strongly indeed. It's moving towards an area of resistance now which really starts around 16,000, extends up to the two tops here at 16,500 and 75 and then the high up here at 16,750. It's pushing ahead strongly here. The MACD has just crossed back up so this sort of lagging indicator is showing the pause is over and we're on our way up and the momentum is strong as the gap widens here and the RSI you can see is up but just hooked over very slightly here. I think there is a slight of hesitancy here and we may see the edge come off this with this, this lead that the Nasdaq has had. Not to say that it's going to lose the lead, but I would expect the RRG to turn over a little bit. It is beginning to turn over a little bit and just this uh, performance, extreme outperformance to slow up now as it approaches this resistance level. 